Aha, there you are. It is a pleasure to meet you. I am Sinan, an architect and civil engineer from 16th century Turkey. In fact, one of the great architects, some would say. During my lifetime, I was involved in the building of more than 470 structures, including the Grand Suleymaniye Mosque in Istanbul, built for Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent himself, and my masterpiece, the Salemiye Mosque in Edirne, all designed to withstand earthquakes. And yes, most of them are still standing to this very day. Oh, Michelangelo may have dominated the West, but in the East, I was the master. Students flocked to me. Indeed, many of my protégés later became renowned for their own work. But though I had a hand in many ambitious building projects, I was just one amongst many men and women who built and improved the towns and cities of our time, laying the foundations, quite literally, <laughs> for many of the famous places you visit today. I wasn't the only one either. Across the Muslim world, architects developed amazing construction methods that transformed the skyline of our cities. Baghdad, Cairo, Damascus, Cordoba, Istanbul, Fez. And would you believe it? So impressive were some of these great buildings that many European crusaders returned to their homes and copied the techniques we developed. They even inspired many of the great European architects, such as Sir Christopher Wren. Mm. I have to admit, he did a truly amazing job on St. Paul's Cathedral in London. So let me tell you that it wasn't just about our buildings. It was also about infrastructure. Like the great civilizations of the past, we realized that it was not just enough to build a few houses and so call a place a city. Oh, no. What about public amenities, libraries, markets, bookshops, hospitals? What about clean running water, rubbish collection, gardens? Oh, the list is endless. I could go on and on. Yes, all of these were already developed in our era and more. Though it may seem hard to believe, not all cities enjoyed these things. And as we improved the places in which we lived, so our ideas spread further than we could ever have possibly imagined. In fact, next time you're outside, look very carefully. Some of the results of our labors may well be all around you. <laughs>